Welcome to Sun and Pop Co-op. This is Pop, also known as T-Rex. We're going to be playing a little bit of the unfinished game, or maybe it's the unnamed game. It's an Earth Kingdoms game, Tug. This is the final version 1 alpha, 0 0.8.9. Version 2 will be coming out at the end of 2016. I thought I'd play this one a little bit, get a feel for it before the new one comes out. I played it earlier when there were a lot of optimizations that needed. There was no storage. Um, sometimes you pick things up when you're trying to use them. Placement of objects was clumsy. They've had a lot of new features, so let's take a look. So first thing you see when you go in there is you're a seedling. That means you grow, so you start out as a child. I'm going to press X to take a look at myself. Just a little kid. We're in the Stone Age. So, we're going to need some stones. You press Shift to run. Space bar to jump. Now, that right ahead of me, with the little pixels around it, floating in the air, is a rock. I could pick that up without having to try and punch. Unlike a lot of games, I can't come over here and start punching this tree. It doesn't do anything. Even this tree. Nothing. It's a stone age. I need a stone. So I've got a hammer rock. See, it's in his hand. With a hammer rock, I can use like a hammer. I'm going to break up this bigger stone. It's dropped some pebbles, a pick rock, and a cobblestone. So I'm going to press F to pick those up. As you can see, they're in my inventory. I press I, I can open it. I'm going to move these into my bag. Fast number is one, two, three, four. So I can go one, two, three, and place them in my inventory. With my little rock here, I need some plants and some wood. Let's see if I can find a little tree, a sapling, something I can break with this little rock. There we go. There's a vine. And two sticks. If you hold down the F, it'll pick up everything. See his hand goes grabby, grabby. So I've got a long stick, I've got a short fork stick, and i got some vines. So I want to make an axe. No, this is a hammer rock. I'm going to make a pick out of this. I'm going to drop that on the ground, and I'm going to drop that on the ground, and drop that on the ground. Conversely, you can press the Q and drop whatever's in your hand on the ground. So they're on the ground in front of me in a bundle, and if I press G, I can start crafting. It's a little slow, but hopefully they'll add some animations that will show them doing something. Press F, pick it up off the ground, and I learned another recipe. The recipes I had were for making these crude stone weapons, tools, things like that. What I just learned was how to repair a stone item. So when it's broken, I can use pebbles to fix it. So let's go break some more stone, see what we can find. So the first thing we want to do when we get started is start breaking up rocks. There's a large rock, but I've got a pick, so I should be able to break it up pretty easily. Not from a uh, third person. I hear some goats. You hear some goats?
big rock. What's it giving me? More pebbles. Another hammer rock. Another pick rock, some more cobblestone, and an axe rock. Now I can chop wood with a pick. But it would work better, I think, with an axe. that goat again. If you hold down the F, it'll pick up everything. So we've got some planks, some chopped wood, some more sticks, wood shafts for things like spears. Ooh, we should make a spear. Where can we get some vines? These guys. So, there's a stick, I press Q to throw it on the ground, pressing 3, it equips my pick stone, press Q to throw that on the ground, and my vines, throw them on the ground. No funny crafting benches, just put stuff on the ground. There you go, I've got a spear. Now if I press T, it goes into my attack stance. See, so he's getting ready to throw it. And you can throw your spear. I can find that goat. Here he is. I'm gonna crouch and try and sneak up on him. The game takes into account gravity, so I want to throw it above it. Oh, I got him! And I lost my spear. Because I was throwing uphill, the spear... It might have fallen downhill, or it might have gone into the hill. Hmm. And I made a mistake here. I didn't make a knife. So I got another stick. Yes. Two stones. And a, a big piece of wood. And I can craft a torch. Torches are useful for chasing away predators. The two pieces of stone act like flint and metal. You bang them together in order to start the fire. So I have light. What I'm going to do with this torch is right click on this stump, attach it there, so I can find my way back to this goat. Because I need to get a knife.
You need a sharp piece of stone to make a knife. There's some more vines here. Beware these plants with the purple bubbles. They attack you. So, running back over here where the torch is. There's my goat. There's a vine and a pick rock. And I'm going to make myself a knife. There we go. Put it in my hand. Target the goat. I have meat. I'm a hunter. A hunter who's lost a spear. Maybe it fell down the hill. Well, a stick and a stone for a goat, that's a pretty good trade-off. Simply because there's more stones. Pick rocks. Let me pick up the pick rock. I've got too many stones in my hand right now. I'm going to pick up this flat rock that's quite useful for making a fire pit. So, I need a long skinny stick. in my hand here so I can see what I'm doing. Well, I've got a long skinny stick. What am I doing? It's getting dark. Fortunately, it's not cold. It is up there. So, I have some weapons. I have fire. I need food. How about some gourds? Pressing F on these things on the ground. Mix them up. I'm surprised it didn't roll downhill. So I've got eight gourds in my hand. I actually put them into my hand. I can eat them. So it's pretty straightforward. You get stones, you got wood, you got food. Haven't seen any predators, but that's good. Little Billy Goat. <laughs> With food in your hand, you can actually tame these little guys. So he likes it. You give him enough, then he'll follow you around.
as you can see, I made a friend. So we'll call this episode one, and I'll come back and we'll see what we can do when it becomes light once again. Nah. T-Rex from Sun and Pop Co-op signing off.